The rumors are that Diddy was running some kind of Epstein type deal where he was filming everybody. The thing is, like, we're getting the rumors from the internet. <laughs> Who fucking knows? Who knows what's real? That's what Diddy's lawyers, I think, said. It was like that these are just trumped up charges, not trumped up, I don't think they said that, but like, like bullshit charges. Dude, when Homeland Security invades your house, you got problems. With dudes with fucking guns and body armor. There's Forget, someone said that they weren't there to take stuff, they were there to delete everything. Jamie Foxx just spilled the beans and now he might be paying the price. Popped out the town car with a camera, said, yo, Puff, yo, you gotta let me film this, the whole thing. We need to document this, Playboy. And he got pissed at me. He said, yo, don't, don't play, don't play with me. You know what I am, I'm Diddy, you know what I'm saying? From Diddy's legendary parties to Fox's mysterious hospitalization, we're diving into the dark side of Hollywood where secrets are currency and betrayal is the name of the game. Diddy's empire is built on ambition, but how far did he go? Was Fox silenced for revealing too much? Is this a tragic coincidence or a chilling message from the shadows of the entertainment industry? That's the million dollar question, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. In case you missed out on the whole drama, I'ma loop you in on Diddy's extravagant parties and where it all went downhill for him. Fox paints a picture of legendary parties, but those fueled as much by hungry ambition as fancy champagne. Behind the glitter and the A-list smiles, Diddy's a shark, maneuvering and manipulating with a ruthlessness that would make a Wall Street wolf pack cringe. Think about it. This ain't just about having a good time. Those parties are Diddy's hunting ground. Every handshake, every favor, every late night deal brokered, it's all part of his master plan. This guy didn't get lucky. He built his brand on the backs of calculated connections and backroom deals. But let's not get blinded by the bling, ambition costs. Fox hints at the sacrifices, the real Sean Combs hidden behind the mask of Diddy. This transformation ain't just a fresh haircut, it's a calculated trade-off, sacrificing oneself to build something bigger and maybe darker. There's always a price to pay for climbing to the top, and Diddy's no exception. And then there's the shadows lurking just off stage at these bashes. Fox whispers about those tycoons, those backroom players craving power, not cocktails. They're the real kingmakers, the ones working the strings while staying out of the spotlight. Together, they form Diddy's inner circle, a web of loyalty and secrets where favors are traded like baseball cards. Now, here's where it gets really juicy. Those whispered conversations, the disappearing guests, those closed door meetings Fox hints at, it's in those unseen moments that the real empire building happens. Careers are made or destroyed, alliances forged on promises only whispered in smoky corners, and deals struck that the public will never know about. This is the battlefield where Diddy truly conquers, and Fox leaves us starving for more than just a peek behind the curtain. Y'all, this is more than a success story. It's a tale of the true cost of ambition, the lines blurred between genius and ruthlessness. Diddy plays the game like a master, but even masters walk a tightrope. Beneath the glamour, whispers hint at a world where the rules are bent, twisted, or flat out ignored. Stay tuned because this story's far from finished. I would show up to the party in my little, uh, in a little town car, this town, you know, I grabbed my town car so I could skirt. Puff the SUVs and the road, the Bentleys, the whole night. He get out. I get out too with a camera, the big cannon. Like yo, Puff, I should document this shit, right? Yo, what's up, Playboy? <laughs> what, what, what you talking? About? I said, no, I should get this, man. You files for the whole night. He says, uh, yeah, let him through. Excuse me. So I get that. <laughs> but at that time, it wasn't like the little camera y'all got in. It was the big intrusive cannon. I had a battery pack. Hold on, man. Let me change the pack. Put my light on here. Do that again, Puff. Do that again. I missed that one. Do that again. Put the pack. So I started following him. Wow. So I followed him the whole time. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm filming this. And it's a pool party that is ridiculous, man. Fox just spilled the hottest tea about Diddy's legendary parties. These weren't your average Hollywood shindigs. They were dripping with cash and buzzing with a raw energy that makes Vegas look like Sunday school. They were A-listers rubbing shoulders with the kind of crowd that would make you blush. We're talking ripped athletes whispering in supermodel ears, tech bros cutting deals with music moguls, and suddenly, boom, little old Dr. Ruth in a skimpy bikini giving out spicy advice. This was a who's who of the rich and shameless where the motto was go big or go home. But these bashes weren't just about champagne and weird outfits. Fox hints at a creative frenzy like a lightning storm trapped in a bottle. He'd scoop up hyped up artists buzzing from the night's chaos and drag them to his studio. Instant hits were born, fueled by booze and, well, who knows what else, right? Makes you wonder how many of those tunes we love started out in those crazy nights. Now, here's where Fox drops the bomb. He talks about a place where the usual rules don't apply. Less boring business deals, more unzipped flies and anything goes attitudes. We're not here to name names. But let's just say the gossip swirling around Diddy's parties suddenly got a whole lot spicier. This is the dark side of Hollywood, guys. 
a glimpse into a world where inhibitions melt away faster than ice cream in the desert. Identities get blurred and the only rule is to lose control. Sure, Fox plays it cool, bragging about his own parties being more about real connections than big budgets, but let's be honest, the real magic happens when the cameras are off in those wild, no-holds-barred bashes most of us can only fantasize about. And that's where things get really messy, because while Fox talks about creativity gone wild, there's the lingering question, were these parties just harmless fun for the elite, or was there something way more twisted going on? Diddy's always pushed limits, but is Fox implying something darker? In November 2023, the first whispers of trouble turned into a deafening roar. It all started with allegations of sexual misconduct and assault, accusations that would drag Diddy's carefully crafted empire into the harsh light of scrutiny. Like dominoes falling, one lawsuit after another surfaced. Disturbing claims of drugging and videotaping emerged, painting a horrifying picture hidden beneath the velvet ropes of Diddy's legendary parties. The once sparkling image of the self-made mogul suddenly tarnished, accusations flying faster than paparazzi camera flashes. December 2023 brought even more shocking allegations. A 17-year-old victim alleging gang Diddy's ex Cassie Ventura accusing him of years of abuse and misconduct. I'm finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face violence and abuse in their relationships. The music industry, once enamored by Diddy's brilliance, reeled in shock. Brands started distancing themselves, projects were scrapped, and even his Grammy nomination came under fire. The man who seemed untouchable was suddenly facing consequences. In March 2024, things took a dramatic turn. Federal agents raided homes linked to Diddy, a stark reminder of the ongoing investigations against him. The world watched, holding its breath as the glamorous mogul faced the very real possibility of a devastating fall from grace. One particularly chilling lawsuit was settled suspiciously fast, with Diddy and his ex, Cassie Ventura, suddenly releasing statements about an amicable resolution. Hush money whispered across headlines, further muddying the waters. And all the while, Diddy fiercely denies the allegations, his lawyers fighting back with a barrage of statements decrying the accusations as lies and character assassination. Okay, Diddy's drama is child's play compared to the twisted crap that goes down in Hollywood. With all its flashy lights and fake smiles, this town hides a whole world of darkness that make your mama clutch at her pearl. We're talking about power and money corrupting souls until they're rotten to the core. Whispers of secrets so dirty they'd burn your ears. Let's blast back in time to those silent movie days when scandals were born. Remember Fatty Arbuckle, the star who made him laugh until he was accused of a crime so vile it destroyed him? Acquitted maybe, but mud sticks, and Hollywood proved it loves tearing down its idols just as much as building them up. Then there's the untouchables, the ones who get a free pass to do whatever the hell they want. Roman Polanski admitting to the unthinkable, then skipping town rather than face the music. And yet the creep keeps making movies, winning awards, while his victim decides to drop the charges after 40 years. Makes you sick, wondering whose pockets are lined deep enough to make that kind of evil vanish. But it ain't just ancient history that stinks. Harvey Weinstein, that vile pig masquerading as a big shot, exposed a whole network of abuse and silence that reaches right to the top. His downfall lit the fuse on the hashtag MeToo movement, where brave voices finally started breaking the silence. Turns out all those casting couch whispers weren't just gossip. Those predators were hiding in plain sight. And even the brightest stars can get tarnished by this town. Lindsay Lohan, that Disney princess turned train wreck, crashing and burning for the cameras to feast on. Or Britney Spears, her breakdown milked for profit while the vultures circled, picking her bones clean. Proof that fame's a hell of a drug, and the people around you will happily be your pusher if it lines their pocket. And then there's the really creepy stuff, the kind that fuels those wild internet conspiracies. Marilyn Monroe, found dead in a way that doesn't add up. Powerful men, suicide brushed under the rug, while rumors of something worse whisper like hungry ghosts. Then there's Natalie Wood, drowned on a boat trip with her husband and another famous fella, and still, all these years later, ain't nobody got the real story. Accidents? Sure. Or maybe there's something truly rotten lurking just below that shiny Hollywood surface. Just like that, guess what happens next when Jamie Foxx spills all that juicy stuff about Diddy's legendary parties? The wild nights, the scandalous rumors? Boom. Fox ends up hospitalized with some mysterious medical problem serious enough to leave him shaken to the core. The official story is one thing, a health scare, a rough patch, gratitude to family, but in this crazy Hollywood world, whispers start swirling faster than paparazzi on the red carpet. People are speculating about everything from secret struggles to straight up sabotage. You know how it goes, the gossip gets wilder than one of Diddy's bashes. And wouldn't you know it, Jamie's daughter is suddenly the queen of information control. Sure, it's natural to look out for family, but she's keeping the details on lockdown tighter than Fort Knox. Makes you wonder what they're hiding, or more importantly, who they're protecting. 
Now, this ain't just bad luck. This is shady Hollywood timing. Fox reveals all those secrets about Diddy's parties, the shady deals, the stuff you don't see on Instagram, and suddenly he's facing a life or death situation. Coincidence? I think not. This town runs on power, and people at Diddy's level don't take kindly to having their secrets spilled. Jamie talks about being traumatized, about how just seeing him on the street might trigger tears. That ain't your normal health issue recovery. That's the kind of thing that leaves someone looking over their shoulder. Did Fox uncover something dangerous, or was this just a nasty warning shot? A reminder that some people will go to any lengths to protect their reputations. Sure, Fox is back, smiling and pushing his new movie like a champ, but don't be fooled. Those smiles can hide a whole lot of fear. Maybe Jamie's hospital scare was a freak accident, or maybe, just maybe, it was his brush with Hollywood's dark side. A chilling sign of what happens when you peek behind the curtain, when you dare to expose the truth about guys like Diddy. This is a Hollywood horror story, where ambition turns ruthless and secrets can get you killed, or at least silenced. Jamie Foxx spilled some truth, and the next thing we know, he's in the hospital for reasons nobody's really explaining. Is Diddy really untouchable, or is there a bigger, even darker force pulling the strings? I've been through something, I've been through some things. You know, it's crazy, I couldn't do that six months ago, I couldn't actually walk. Hit that subscribe button, because I'm exposing the tricks, the traps, and the chilling reality that stars are not like us. Their world is brutal, and only the strong, or the ruthless, survive.